The horror genre is one of the most fun to watch and one of the most difficult to make. Luckily, Marvel's attempt to dabble in horror turned out to be widely successful. Their special presentation, Werewolf by Night, was released in time for Halloween season. It's MCU's first horror movie and pays homage to the classics of old school horror. So in honor of that, here's our picks for the top 10 best horror movies like Werewolf by Night. Starting off at number 10, we have The Day of the Trip. 1963. The Day of the Triffids is a science fiction horror film in which a meteor shower crashes on Earth, blinding nearly the entire human population by its bright lights. What was transporting with the meteors was even more terrifying, meat-eating plant monsters that are devouring humanity. Plant monsters such as the Triffids remind us fans of Man-Thing, a self-aware plant monster with a gentle heart who was adapted into MCU in Werewolf by Night. Man-Thing, also known as Ted in the universe, is based on the comic counterpart in 1971, who accidentally converted into the plant monster inside a mythical swamp. The movie not only has similar themes, but is a great watch by itself. Next up, at number 9, we have King Kong, 1930. Werewolf by Night is directed by renowned filmmaker Michael Giacchino. Best known for his work composing the scores on the MCU, The Batman, Pixar films, along with other projects. Michael Giacchino cited Marion C. Cooper's 1933 King Kong as a major inspiration for Werewolf by Night, which may be reflected in the depiction of compassionate monsters such as Man-Thing. King Kong is the classic story of the giant ape captured from his long lost Lost Island and transported to New York. Kong escapes its confinement and causes havoc on the city before being brutally murdered. His storyline and Anne Darrow draws the audience closer to the beast, making his death a haunting ending to the epic film. Similarly, Man-Thing's backstory and his relationship with our protagonist slash anti-hero makes his character one that we start feeling sorry for and rooting for. Moving on, at number 8, we have Alien, 1979. A group of monster hunters are stuck in a labyrinth with a murderous swamp monster in Werewolf by Night. A group of astronauts are are stuck aboard their ship by a murderous xenomorph in Ridley Scott's Alien. In the days before computer-generated imagery, the xenomorph was created by dressing an actor in a suit. Not only because of its resembling themes with Werewolf by Night, the movie deserves a viewing because of its own brilliance. Alien is one of the best horror films ever made. Thanks to Jerry Goldsmith's ominous score, H.R. Giger's haunting designs, and many iconic sequences, definitely worth a watch. It's a classic for a reason. Next in line, at number 7, we have Poltergeist, 1989. Another movie Giacchino mentioned as an inspiration for Werewolf by Night is Toby Hooper's 1983 cult classic and much adapted Poltergeist. To use more than just blood, guts, and jump scares, Poltergeist was successful in building character and balance in the incorporation of horror, comedy, and storytelling. Poltergeist follows a typical suburban family who discovers their new home is haunted by many unearthly spirits. The phenomenon is initially subtle, but the horror grows as the family becomes increasingly terrified and the youngest daughter is abducted by malevolent spirits. The movie leaves you deeply invested in the lives of the characters, making the haunting just that much more terrifying. Though there have been many adaptations of the movie through the years, the original stands top of the list. Moving on, at number 6, we have Frankenstein, 1937. James Whale's 1937 hit, Frankenstein, is the epitome of old-school horror. The original novel is regarded as the first genuine science fiction story, and it has since spawned its own horror subgenre. Frankenstein has been adapted many times, but much like our previous pick, none of the succeeding adaptations have surpassed Universal's original masterpiece. Once again, sympathetic antagonists are depicted in these monster stories, where the hero-villain relationship becomes warped while the cast of humans hunt down the monsters. The audience feels a sense of empathy for them instead. Frankenstein's monster, like Man-Thing, just wants to exist, but his monstrous qualities make him a target. Despite the havoc him, Man-Thing, and even King Kong can cause, when one attempts to connect with them, we can pause for a moment of sympathy and understanding. This movie is a must-see for all horror junkies. Halfway through the video, let's take a look at our top 5 picks. Moving on to number 5 
We have The Fly, 1986. Speaking of the horror subgenre developed by Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, David Cronenberg's 1986 classic The Fly, often referred to as body horror, stars Jeff Goldblum as a scientist whose teleportation experiment merges his DNA with a fly. The resulting abomination, nicknamed Brundlefly, a mix of his real name, Dr. Seth Brundle, and Fly, is a heartfelt modern incarnation of Frankenstein's monster, as well as a great example of an anti-villain. This reminds us of Man-Thing's nickname given to him by the movie's anti-hero, Jack Russell, who is also his best friend and companion throughout the film. He calls him Ted as a short version of his real name, Dr. Theodore Solis, and he too is a scientist, well, a biochemist, just like Dr. Seth. It's a psychological horror descent into the fly metamorphosis process. Not just a horror film, it's also a romantic tragedy about the power of love with a gruesome monster, and the story is played out perfectly by the actor's phenomenal acting. Definitely worth a watch in our opinion, and if you don't believe us, just see what fans and critics have to say about it. Next, up at number 4, we have Cat People, 1952. The dread of transformation is a common theme in werewolf films, and 1942's Cat People appears to fit that plot as well. Starring Simone Simon as the lead, Irina, an immigrant from Serbia, meets Oliver, a kind man, Kent Smith. Through most of their dates and new marriage, Irina is disturbed by fables from her childhood, in which people who are provoked turn into cats. Irina is reluctant to expose her full intimacy to her husband for fear of transformation, which strains their lives as she approaches the turning point. She too is afraid to transform into her monstrous side for fear of hurting those she loves. Similar to Bernal's character in Werewolf by Night, which adds a romantic twist to the horror. The fear of transformation serves as a nuanced look into the minds of the main characters and is a great storyline to follow. Just like the MCU hit, Jacques Tourneau's Cat People explores the theme very well. We're at our final three picks. Up at number three, we have An American Werewolf in London, 1981. An American Werewolf in London, one of the first films to combine comedy and horror, tells the tale of an American tourist who transforms into a werewolf and terrorizes is the English capital. The masterpiece, directed by John Landis, is a unique example of a hybrid genre that perfectly blends the two concepts. An American Werewolf in London would be a frightening horror film without the jokes and a hilarious fish-out-of-water comedy without the scares. Much like the blend of comedy in the horror of Werewolf by Night, this movie provides an engaging storyline exploring themes of werewolves and humans. It also features one of the most legendary werewolf trans transformation sequences in film history, thanks to famed special effects artist Rick Baker. For our runner-up, at number 2, we have Psycho, 1960. Yes, most of you have probably seen this classic cult favorite masterpiece, but it was impossible not to include in this list. Werewolf by Night, like numerous other MCU films, was bound to include a few easter eggs and pop culture references of its own. With its score and visual transitions, the horror action special feature story reminds fans of Alfred Hitchcock's 1960 horror magnus opus, Psycho, on both occasions. Werewolf by Night's director and composer Michael Giacchino was clearly inspired by Bernard Herrmann's score for Psycho. Through using sharp strings that become equated with horror escapes, a face cross-dissolves with a skull in an early transition, hearkening back to a nightmarish reveal in Psycho's final scene. And finally, for our top pick at number one, we have The Wolfman, 1941. Universal's 1941 black and white werewolf film classic, The Wolfman, was a major influence on Werewolf by Night. Lon Chaney Jr. and Claude Rains star as the title character and his estranged father, respectively. Chaney Jr., the film's star, is bitten by a wolf during an altercation and becomes encumbered by his nightly transitions into a werewolf. The Wolfman is a genre classic, thanks to Chaney's moving performance, spectacular makeup effects by Jack 
Mike Pierce, and a haunting yet beautiful musical score by Hans J. Salter, Frank Skinner, and James Previn. With striking similarities to the recent MCU production, the movie truly was the blueprint for many others in the genre. Yet despite the similarities, the movie still completely differs in terms of delivery. It's a must-watch if you enjoyed Werewolf by Night. That's a wrap for this video. What did you guys think of our top 10 picks? Did we leave some of your favorites out? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.